What we have here today is a single story managed European bee colony. We call it a single story or brood chamber or hive body. We call it a brood chamber because this is where the queen is going to lay her eggs and she's going to raise her baby bees in this bottom box here. If it was the springtime, we would have more boxes stacked up for honey. But this year, it being fall, we only have a small quantity of brood in the hive. So what we'll do here is we'll get our smoker and we'll always smoke the entrance of the hive a little bit. What that does is it covers the pheromones and keeps the bees from communicating to each other and keeps them from getting somewhat unhappy with us. Crack the back corner and lift the lid off the top here. Set it off to the side. And we'll make sure we give the bees just a little bit more smoke. First thing you want to do in a colony like this is here we see we got a beetle trap. This beetle trap needs to be the first thing you remove when you go to manage your bee colony. The small hive beetle is a pest that is um, somewhat detrimental to the bees. So we'll set this over here to the side. You always want to take the first frame to the outside out first. We know that the queen is a high probability that she's not going to be on this outside frame. The outside frame usually contains pollen and honey. So we'll make sure we take this one out first and very carefully. We want to make sure we don't roll our queen or hurt her in any way. You can see here that it is fall and we do not have much surplus of honey or pollen. So we'll set this first frame here to the side. For next, we'll space the frames out, kind of get them, get the propolis is broke up in the hive here. And we'll start, move down towards the middle of the hive. We know that, that the queen is going to be somewhere in the center of the colony for insulation purposes. So we'll move over here to the middle, get a good space so we can get to the frame easily. P pull the frame from the sides and lift out very carefully, making sure we don't roll any of the bees up. And as you can see here, we do have a brood pattern. The brood pattern is usually in this center here. We have a little honey on the outside edges. And we don't see the queen on here. We do see a little varroa mites. And I'll reference back to the bottom. This is a varroa, mite, uh, varroa screen bottom board. This screen bottom board is when the bees pick the mites off of each other. They go through the bottom of the hive and down to the ground. We'll set this here to the side also. We'll take the next frame out close to the center. We'll move it very slowly and we'll look on it for the queen. Sometimes you find the queen and sometimes you don't. Um, if you have a decent brood pattern in the center and you see that you have eggs around the outside of the brood pattern, you know you have a good healthy laying queen, depending on the outlay of the brood pattern itself. So we won't beat these guys up too much. We'll put them back in here. You want to put our center frame, which is the frame with the brood pattern on it, inside the middle to protect it from any cold weather. We'll move the outside frames back towards the center with our hive tool. Push them as far over as we can. Take the first frame that we removed, put it back on the exterior of the hive. Reinsert our beetle trap. A little bit more smoke applied and place the flat plywood cover back on top of the hive. Mm -hmm. 